Hey. Holy shit. Oh, is this where everybody keeps mad with? I'm stuck here? <laughs> Hello again everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Long and today we're going to be watching episode 5 of Midnight Gospels. Last week was Trudy Trudy Trudy. I think last week was probably one of my favorite episodes so far. Um, I'm very looking forward to <laughs> this next episode and I'm not 100% sure on what's going to happen anymore. Um, I wonder if the, um, the guy's dad's going to come find him. And do something about it. I feel like I feel like some shit's gonna happen towards the end of the show, but right now there's no through line. The only thing that's been passing down from one episode to the other is the shoes, <laughs> and I hope the shoes come into play. So, alrighty, let's not waste any more time. Let's just go ahead and jump right into this. Oh, what a fucking crazy dream, Rose. Mm -hmm. huh. Rose. Oh shit, yes. it's Di. Oh no, somebody puked on you. Oh. Fuck, someone <laughs> puked on you. I can fix this. I believe that's true. Music can help with your plants. Because <clears throat> I believe there was a study that, you know, if you talk nice to a plant, it'll grow much better. <laughs> Pretty, pretty. Thank you, computer. You're welcome, master. Whoa, what's that Whoa. place? Oops. <laughs> you weren't supposed to see that. That's my soul prison for wayward simulated beings. What the fuck does that mean, baby? <laughs> it's a tower of malfunctioning sims. So. Hey. Two, four, Holy shit. <laughs> oh, is this where everybody keeps mad with? I'm stuck here? And I wanted to know if maybe you'd like to be interviewed for my space cast. Which goes into space. <laughs> he can't he talk. bit his own tongue off like three years ago. <laughs> but you can interview me. <laughs> Come on, guys. Oh, shit. I just died. Hey, wait, hey, 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 wait. This is the existential trap of the soul prison. <laughs> Yeah. What the that fuck? Nuts. That was the Birdo loop. You're the all not in my boy's soul string here. Moment would not be happening if we were not both here discussing it. And everyone listening out in the multiverses was not here listening to this, right? Without you, the viewer, and you, Clancy, the host, yeah. and the millions of people who could hear this, this moment would not exist. <laughs> Therefore, it's not a function like... <laughs> You were talking about, um... Hindu theory, Indra is not. Right, so the concept is that all the consciousnesses in the world are connected. And the Atman is conscious. It is consciousness, and each individual consciousness is God. Yes. And in its own way is the totality. It's the soul of a butterfly. The soul... But he says, it's not the nodes, it's the connections. <laughs> cool, cool, right. cool, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> this is the diagnostics of the movie. This part here is like, this evil is... is being judged. Oh my goodness. It's starting to weigh evenly. Yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry, we just barefoot. <laughs> In the DMT space, I had the experience of perceiving the fundamental emptiness of everything, and I described oh. it recently as nothingness but shining. Wow. DMT trip is that. Uh, the French call the orgasm the little death. Death is actually the big orgasm, right? The relinquishing of the self. And the self obviously doesn't exist, but the self is also a burden and is a source of suffering. Well, you know, I guess uh, everything's kind of a burden to you, you know? A burden? 
a bird <laughs> in. Because you're a bird? Oh, man. Create this, like, psychedelic Megazord. A what? In, like a, like a, or what's that called in, in Power Rangers? Oh, okay. Well, damn it. God, I mean, I'm glad it's Power Rangers, but I was praying that you had just added to my lexicon <laughs> of uh, some fucking new spiritual term called Megazord. Power Rangers, yeah, it's not, not Sanskrit. Buddhist meditation is you're not trying to get anywhere. You're just sitting with yourself. You're just sitting with the feeling. The feeling that you try to get away from all damn day long. Just having to start all over again. So Buddhist meditation is sitting with the feeling until you notice that the feeling is changing of its own accord and permanent and is emptiness. And the whole dream of your life that you thought was real was just a dream until you wake up. A dream. And now I'm awake. That's the first turning of the Dharma. Wow. <laughs> That's great, man. Very, very long virtual reality experience that had been going on so long people forgot they were doing virtual reality. Wait a Imagine if we're all in a actually, just wait, a virtual on. reality wait, right I'm now. Actually, create a <laughs> God of War. In a Similarly, we've like protruded into this realm and we like have this experience, but we start thinking we're the fucking snorkel, right? That's like that's part of the experience. So from this perspective, let's consider spiritual practice. Any spiritual practice that's like trying to get to something. I'm going to become more spiritual. I'm going to become more loving. Yeah. Buddhist perspective is, dude, you're grinding in World of Warcraft. <laughs> Why? That's just a great analogy. Step the fuck away from the computer. You're trying to add experience points to a character that doesn't fucking exist. <laughs> They've lost me. I am so lost. We want to continue pushing into the simulation. It's like we want to repeat what already happened. We've got virtual reality goggles on and we're in a game and now we want to put on another set of virtual reality goggles and then not only do we want to put that on, but then we want to add to that another augmented reality thing and then another. We're desperately trying to avoid taking off the virtual reality goggles. We're Why are we desperately trying to avoid it? Because we don't want to feel that feeling. What feeling? The feeling. <laughs> oh, God. Fuck. This guy's gonna keep dying like this? Yeah, until he figures it out. Getting close. The fact He's about to get out of this simulation. Is a cause of suffering. Yes. This is hopeless. This is hopeless. Yes. The moment you accept things as they are, you don't need to hope anymore because you realize that where you are is kind of okay. No. Hope tortures your fucking ass. Yeah. He's never gonna get Everybody's learning. He needs. He needs music. Man. Um. Bust out those spoons. Okay. Yeah, baby. You're the king of spoons. <laughs> You're so close. I come on, know come on. Last time I expressed that much enthusiasm in the real world was like. Hey, you can do it too. Oh shit. Shit. <laughs> He has a heart. He's been reborn. This is trippy as heck.
Oh shit. Damn, look at that. Oh fuck, he's coming out with him. Oh my god, that's dangerous. Was he a simulation farmer too, once? His tongue's gone. Oh shit, it came back. Got a Oh. Bird shoes. Holy shit. But where is he? Uh oh. Let's see how my rose is doing. Oh. the end of that episode uh i'm just as confused as i was before um yeah i don't know what to think of it um the conversation is also very interesting still and but i'm just so like drawn into the artwork and the animation that i i, I missed half of the things that they're talking about so yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, um, that was a that was an episode. I can say that much. Uh, I definitely enjoyed it. Still, um, yeah. Let's just call it it for this week, and uh, I'll see you guys next week. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Hit that bell icon so you guys are aware of the next video that comes out. Um, I guess that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys next week. Bye bye.